C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. My name is Soros88 and today uh, we are continuing the mission, well the side quest for uh, rescuing all these people, the Marines and the um, Free Star Collective uh, guys that were trapped here just because of the spacers and some other um, evil groups I guess. Um, in between episodes as I told you I went inside and uh, try and um, scavenge the best that I could and so I did and now uh, this is my current armor I just wanted to show you I don't like the looks very much but I mean I think that's kind of the the best that I could find this helmet is actually a legendary one um, let me show you very quickly This is the helmet that I'm using, the Mirror Calibrated Ground Crew Space Helmet. <laughs> and it's a legendary one, it's my first legendary. I found it in one of the crates that you can open. And yeah, it grants up to plus 100 energy resistance and physical resistance uh, lower your health. Uh, it has Hacker which gives you plus 2 max auto attempts that can be uh, banked while hacking. And uh, the mirrored, which is 4% chance to reflect attacks, which actually I think it's quite cool. And uh, I also changed my spacesuit, as this one has a lot more energy, a lot more EM, and at least has a little bit of airborne, uh, which I think it's quite nice. And yeah, I've already kind of emptied my uh, inventory. I, I, I got so many things, so, so many things, but my mess still... Uh, up the limit that I could carry so I guess the rest of the mission I will just kind of walk instead of running which is a little bit uh, obnoxious but yeah that's that's how this goes and uh, yeah I've, I've already filled up uh, this uh, uh, the cargo of the ship I've already filled up my two companions so yeah I don't have any more space here and we still have uh, a crew to rescue and then we have to continue our mission to save Barrett. So, yeah, I guess I better get going. Okay, so I'm supposed to go down into the other research camp. Yeah, take your ship to the research camp on Altair 2. Because we're currently at the research outpost here. So, okay. I guess just let's land there and... I'm figuring this will be another like drop down and keep firing because you, we need to <laughs> rescue the the other crew. That's oh, not daytime. Let's exit the ship. I have something I need to discuss with you. Hi. Oh. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Okay, she wants to talk to me? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? Huh. Uh... I mean, that's a strange question to be asking out of nowhere, but sure, I'll answer. I had visions, heard sounds and music. It's difficult no, to no, describe. No, no, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Oh. Huh. 
Uh, it was like being instantaneously pulled across the entire oh galaxy. Oh my goodness. That must have been terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science, well, simply fails. Uh, that's a bit of an understatement, <laughs> sure. True, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Hmm. When you say it spoke to me, what exactly well, did you mean? Judging from the fact that both you and Barrett claim to have heard music, I've made the leap that the artifact was reaching out. Music composition might not consist of words and sentences, but I'll be damned if that isn't an attempt at language. Yeah, I definitely felt like it was trying to communicate. I mean, sure. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. It's getting late. Hmm. Huh. What sort of data have you Not gathered? Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and... Wild theories. Is this the only project you've been working on at Constellation? Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. Okay. Uh, this whole experience must be incredibly frustrating. Frustrating? No. Bewildering. Yes. It would be... Sure. Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. Then we'll go to the bottom of this mystery I together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. And for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say... Well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's oh. the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Me too. It's nice. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, what's the direction we should be going? Oh, there's more outposts down there. Yeah, I forget, I, I still have my inventory full. What is that? Oh, it's the bright cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scan any promising leads? Backing up, I'm backing up. Don't get angry.
Oh, what the hell is that? Open fire. Oh no, it's an enemy. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of fire coming out of that place. Well, I guess we better run a little bit faster. They have shields? Some dead actually. Okay. So there's a lot of things here. This is more like an outpost than a research camp, I would think. <laughs> I don't think I can break this actually.
Desert Vibers okay, okay, okay. We'll be safe now. Get back to the lieutenant. Corporal Mahoney radioed you coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. <laughs> uh, what happened here? Spacers dropped in some of their goons not too long ago. I managed to get most of us to the shelter. Anytime they approached the shelter, we managed to repulse them. But time wasn't in our favor. Then you showed up, thank God. Okay. Uh, you should thank your lieutenant here, Miss Sure. You weren't left to die. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But alright. Mahoney said for us to go to cross. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvy safe from here. Okay. And I guess that's it. We can go back. At least we saved some lives. Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's the occupied cave she's talking about, maybe? Cave. Oh yeah, 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 I always forget. I think I'm actually supposed to go like uh, almost to the max extent of my. Yeah, you have maxed out CO2. Further extension will damage your health, and I'm supposed to like do this. Or I stay like that, like, for a long time. So I get more oxygen. At least I think so. Yeah, for example, if I go here, like to the menu, and we go to skills and physical, here, yeah, that's it. Uh, use up all available oxygen and carbon dioxide 20 times. And I just did that one time. <laughs> And that gives me a little bit more of resistance, I guess. I have accounted for. We are ready to depart. So let's take off and go back to the previous research lab. Right. The nickel family of organic resources includes cobalt, platinum, and palladium. Right. I guess then we can run actually and try and dry off our oxygen and CO2. 
many times. <laughs> Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked <laughs> grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. Uh, well that's a noble goal. Sometimes you just have to cut your losses. Your losses. Your injured can be used against you. The war is not won yet, tell me the plan. Uh, no, I think I... There ain't much room for honor in this damn business, so we have to hold on to what we can. Captain, you should bring up your plan. I... No, I no plan, I need one. to keep going. The spacers <laughs> haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Okay, you people are really keeping me busy. The only rest a marine gets is in the grave. I concur with the captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off the manpower. The spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. Right, some space battles. All right. Let's freaking go. Oh yeah, I, I didn't remember that she actually gives me things. <laughs> <laughs> right to it, okay, okay. My shields are offline. Your ship's hull integrity is low. If it drops to zero, your ship will explode. Press RS to repair your ship. It this consumes ship parts. Okay. Die! Die! 
There we go. Whew. Kevin shoulders things. Ooh, that was too fast. Oh, where is it? Come on. No, that's too far. Just missed the thingy. All right, let's go for that one. These fights are actually quite fun. Okay. And now let's go to our next battle. Let's see if we can survive that. Because I think I actually used quite a lot of materials for <laughs> us not exploding. Taking the hang of it is. There we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> They need me already to get back. Okay, I guess we'll just grab all those things uh, from the ships. And that's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, so yeah, uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying. And if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.